Hello everyone, welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Alright, let's do our little walk over the abyss here. And by walk, I mean run. Whee! What could go wrong? It sounds like a massive waterfall somewhere. Maybe that's just the wind. It kind of sounds like a waterfall, though. That confirms it. This is not planet Earth. Wait, I'm sorry, what? What confirms that? I wish I knew what he was actually talking about. I'm still sticking with my idea that it might be Earth. It is becoming more and more unlikely, though. I'm pretty sure Earth, even if it is kind of far in the future and the place has gone to hell, I'm pretty sure Earth doesn't have, well, land that looks anything like this, nor these massive garnets, or whatever they are. I don't know. Maybe the Earth does, but probably not. Ooh, radio signal. Anything? Nothing. Hold on, wait, what if I go back there? We'll come back in. Uh, okay. Well, whoops. <clears throat> Is there anything down there? Another sample, perhaps? Doesn't seem so, but maybe I'll get another radio signal if I go underneath this tower. No, nothing. It's a dam. <laughs> Extended boost mode disabled. Oh, crap. That's going to significantly, significantly limit what I can do. Feels a little bit strange and forced, though, doesn't it? Because I never actually used my fuel there, and yet it just magically depleted itself. And otherwise, it's unlimited. Oh, God. <laughs> God, the sound when you hit something is so nasty. It's like a meaty thunk. Ugh. I like threw a sack of meat against the wall. Not pleasant. Thank you. 
Yeah, these pipes definitely aren't doing too well. You can see they're kind of falling apart. Exposed rebar. They're not quite lined up. Wait. Where do I go from here? Uh... Is there somebody to go inside of the pipe? I'm definitely not meant to go down. Uh, uh. Yeah, the pathway continues up over there. I'm definitely meant to get over there. How? Well, that's not going to work. In fact, I don't know if I can get up. I don't think I can. Nope, I just killed myself. Like a sack of potatoes. Right, well that didn't work too well. In that case, um, where do I go? What did I miss? Oh, wait a minute. Is there a pathway that way? Actually, no, I don't think there is. Is there? Oh, wait, there is. Okay, here we go. Ah, we are going into the pipes. Okay. Yeah, that'll probably lead me all the way around to the other one. I mean, not the, the other one. It's the same pipe, but the, uh, the other place I was just at. Maybe? Is this? Did I go through it? Is this the building? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. What is that? Looks like a massive... Uh, looks like it's metal. Like some sort of a blade. Like a propeller or something? Kind of. So much water on this planet. And yet, so little life. I have to go down, don't I? I've got to go along this ledge. What could go wrong? And by the way, a fun little thing you can do is if you move the uh, movement stick, at least, with, you know, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, um, if you move the uh, stick that 
moves your character just very slightly. You can actually move in a direction without playing any animation whatsoever. You just slide against the ground. Look at this. Oh yeah. Now that's moonwalking. I, well, it would be if I was going backwards. Just, just play this in reverse and pretend it's moonwalking. It's good enough. Hmm, secrets back there? That's obviously where I'm supposed to go. So let's go the opposite way from where I'm supposed to go, because that's awesome! Although I don't think I can actually make it to the where the trail continues up there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to slide off to my doom. Hold on, let's see. Uh, 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 shit. No. Oh, oh, God. That sound! God, it's so nasty. Maybe if I can get my fuel refilled, I can actually come back there and find something, because the pathway definitely continues up there. There's got to be something up there. Unless maybe this pathway just loops around back to it, which you could. Hmm, looks like it doesn't. Oh, wait, is this a dead end? Nothing but some twigs. At least there once was life here. Is there a way I can get up? Oh, come on, almost. No, oh. Come on, come on. There we go. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be here. But I am, so let's use... Uh, okay, that's not going to work. Well, I mean, if I don't go this way, then where do I go? Oh yeah, no, I do go this way. If I can find some more fuel, that would be wonderful. These old destroyed places are so depressing. Hmm, what do you bet there's something up there? Actually, wait, I think I think this is the way to get up there. Some conveniently placed spools of wire. What the hell is that noise? Oh. Looks like there's some uncontrolled bursts of electricity over there. I shall venture forth soon in the future and electrocute myself. Report 92B, Robotic Arm. The mobile robotic arm is finally working. We discovered that traditional batteries were rendered inoperable within proximity of the structures. Then, a junior technician suggested we use the green fire itself as a power source for the arm. After weeks of work, we finally succeeded. The arm actually draws power from the structures. A perfect solution to the impasse. 
Robotic arm. That sounds neat. Am I going to get to use it? Okay, traditional batteries were rendered... Traditional batteries were rendered inoperable within proximity of the structures. What are the structures? What structures? It says, um... Someone suggested we use the green fire itself as the power source for the arm. So, the green... The green fire is apparently immune to whatever is killing the batteries. Hmm. And once you use the green fire, the arms actually draw power from the structures that once took power from the batteries. Yeah, what structures are they talking about? Ooh. I think I do get to use it. Mobile robotic arm system required. Cool. Should be good for getting samples and stuff. I have no idea how to use it, though. Нам очень повезло, что по прибытию на эту планету здесь уже существовала сеть устройств, способных обеспечить все наши потребности в электроэнергии, невзирая на странность их внешнего вида и строения, которые мы быстро утвердили как нашу собственность. Однако любопытно, что системы управления для запуска этих устройств кажутся предназначенными для очень высоких существ, гораздо более высоких, чем человек или что-либо, с чем мы столкнулись здесь с момента нашего прибытия. Несмотря на это, наши отличные инженеры быстро придумали оригинальное техническое решение. При помощи этой механической руки мы в состоянии добраться до самых высоких мест, что дает нам возможность приводить в действие нужные устройства. И все же причина такой высоты этих систем управления остается загадкой. Были ли другие гости на этой планете еще до нас? Или, может, здесь существуют и другие формы жизни, помимо сугубо растительной? So perhaps that over there is the structure that was already present and already provides power. The one that sapped power from batteries. If it saps power from batteries, then it must be taking power from something, you know? It's it's something that sucks... Just sucks electricity from anything around it. Except for the green fire, apparently. I guess it is the key question was there's, you know, they're made for tall, tall beings, much taller than humans. So are they still here and we just haven't found them? Or were they here before us and they've since disappeared? It looks like vehicle tracks, doesn't it? Do they have vehicles here? Uh... <laughs> Is that from before I gathered anything? Or does it stay gathered? I guess they weren't expecting me to fail on that section. Do I have the arm? Yeah, I've got the arm. I think. I suppose instead of jumping, I could just go here. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck's sake. You know, when it comes to precise walking, I vastly prefer mouse and keyboard. There we go. My god. What is that thing? That hum. This 
structure appears to draw power from that green rock. Come across what appears to be a power station of some sort. An array of Tesla coils surrounds a mysterious monolithic structure. The entire power apparatus seems to draw its power from a glowing green rock inside the monolith, which levitates and pulses with energy. I could jump inside of there, I suppose. Maybe. Let's try it. Oh. Okay. Or I'll hit an invisible wall and die like a sack of potatoes. Oh, for the love of God. I'm feeling like this might fall out from under my feet. Okay, thank god it didn't. I don't really trust any of the structures around here anymore. Since they're falling apart. Ah, I can use my tool. Oh, uh... Alright, how does this work? There's lots of things on the screen. Y to undo it. X to... X to what? X to something, it doesn't do anything yet. Um, okay... Oh, forwards, backwards, okay. Uh, so wait, what am I actually supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to pick this up? Oh, there we go. Oh, and then place it in, right? That's pretty neat. Okay, what did that actually do? It. I'm assuming it powered something that needed powering. Probably another lift. There we go. Reflections.
Well, this poses a slight problem. Oh, there, of course. There's a space blockage, so there's more space C4. Awfully convenient. Clear! Blammo! Do you actually say clear before a bomb explodes? Is that what you say before you, like, use the shock paddles on someone? I think I might have gotten using shock paddles on someone and blowing up explosives mixed up. Not really sure how that happens. Wait, 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 did I just get on top of this? Can I... Could I actually walk on... <laughs> could I walk on that wire across this huge chasm? Nah, it seems like it kicks you off. Okay. Is that smoke? There's something odd about that storm. That doesn't look like a storm to me, it looks like smoke. It looks like a huge smoke cloud. Hmm. Whoa, what is that up there? It looks like a massive door. It looks like an alien door, it doesn't look human made. Do I just press them all in? Okay, so those two work. That one doesn't. So, is this a trial and error puzzle? Gotta get the right sequence. they showed me that image again. All the scribblings. They show that at the very beginning of the game. Is it just a generic loading screen sort of thing? No, it's gotta mean something. It said stuff like the kindness in her voice and she would go on and stuff like that. Blood. Is that from her? Is she bleeding? Yeah, it looks redder here than it usually is. What in the world? Hey, get away from him. It's another one of my crew. <laughs> what? What was with that horror movie cue? Like, that's the sort of little 
music snippet you play when you first see a body, not when you see it for the second time. I already saw it in the cutscene, and it didn't play, and then then I go up to him and it's like, Oh my god, he's dead! Like, yeah, I, I know, you just showed me the body. <laughs> that was awkward. Crew confirmed dead. Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. It seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. The woman seems to avoid their traps, somehow. I will try to use this to my advantage, following her tracks as best as possible. Well, evidently following her tracks is not terribly effective because this person followed, well, the pathway that she's now taking and, uh, well, look what happened to him. So, is he actually impaled by the creature, or... Oh yeah, it moves, doesn't it? Yeah. that That's the creature. And you know what, that actually looks very similar to the thing that made that, like, cyclone windstorm. Because there are, like, black arms sticking out of the, the ground, spinning. It looked kind of like that, actually. Oh god. Are these going to kill me if I stand, like, in them? Uh, yeah, I should probably be careful. Let's follow her tracks very carefully. <laughs> They're twitching like they sense something nearby. Well, you know what? I mentioned that structures like that look like tree, like a tree stump and roots and whatnot, but you know what? These creatures actually look like like tree limbs themselves. So maybe those aren't trees, but old life forms. Why would they have turned to stone, though? I don't know why I'm going up here. Oh wait, I guess this is actually the way she took. <laughs> columnar Basalt. Located a vast field of columnar basalt. These natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrences I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to basalt columns on my home planet, via the slow cooling of huge lava flows. As the hot substance cools into new rock, it contracts, sending deep cracks into the surface in geometric patterns. Once these cracks go deep enough, they result in towering columns of rock. What's back here? I don't think there's anything down here. This is probably just where you go if you fail and fall off. It would seem so. Okay, back on the path. Her feet seem to cause a biological reaction with the soil. The tracks are my guide. A delicate female footprint offering me subtle comfort 
as I press on into the unknown. Strangely, it's not always effective. I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas, of which there are plenty. In the right light, though, I can see where they pick up again to continue my journey. An analysis of the soil at the point of contact suggests that there is something organic reacting to the person, or the thing, whatever she is, making the tracks. The faded glow is haunting, unsettling marks on the earth that make me recall nuclear propaganda films. I'm trying not to worry about the idea that with every step my body is becoming irradiated beyond repair. Oh. Twitchy twitchy. Oh, no, do oh, for the love of God. Okay, whew, I think I'm, I think I'm okay. If I can fit in that crack, I'll be okay. Oh, I thought I was going to have to, like, go all the way down and come all the way back up. I've taken a sample from one of the root species. My field observation tools are not of much use, but from what I can tell, the creatures are a carbon-based life form. However, their cellular structure is completely unique. There is very little specialization between cells, and yet the cells appear to be far larger and vastly more complex than those of terrestrial animals, including humans. Anything in here? Ah, thought maybe there'd be secrets. Where did all the secrets go? Like there used to be places you could find samples and stuff, and and now I like I haven't seen that in like an hour. I miss them. And there's still that pathway all the way back there that I it seemed like I needed my uh my boosters refilled to get to. There's got to be something up there, but. I mean, so far, there just hasn't been a way to actually get there. Wait, hold on. Do I go up there? Do I go up here? It's where the tracks lead. But where does that go? Up. Oh, it leads up there. Okay. And, you know, I would go down there to see what's in that pathway. Down on the ground. But chances are that's just like the other place. It's just a place to go. Okay, I made it. Uh, just a place to go Um, if you happen to fall down. Probably nothing there. If there is something there, I'll look down and, you know, fall down into it and check it out. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not going that way, that's for sure. What? Are you serious? Okay, note to self, if you get within, like, 20 feet of it, you die. Fine, I'll stand up here. Dick. Fucking dick plant. Actually, you're probably not a plant, are you? No, I don't think you are. Okay, let's go this way. Taking a detour. Not to see the sights, but rather to save my life. Alright, is there anything down here? Nah, there's nothing down there.
Do the tracks just loop around to here? Ah, oh, here we go. No secrets? No secrets. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, God. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, are you done turning my screen black? What was that? It went black like three times. I'm like, is a cutscene gonna start? No. Low on auction, find auction supply before you pass out. Well, that's convenient, it's right there. I gotta find oxygen. I've already read that. Yeah, auction supply vehicle, yeah. Secrets, secrets, secrets? No. <sighs> no secrets. Oh, can I get up? I can probably get up there, can't I? Oh, we're going up there. Oh, yeah, we're getting up there. Oh, wait, maybe I can't. No, I want up there. What about the other side? No, I don't think I can. Crap. Ooh, finally a secret. Celestine. Beautiful Celestine mineral. And one of the largest I've seen, actually. But if I recall, there's a 10 meter wide Celestine geode in Ohio. So Earth would still win a galactic Celestine mineral contest. Aha, take that, other planet. How does that make you feel? Loser. Huh, there's two ways to go. What's this way? Oh, that's a lovely image. Face in the sun, shadow behind me. In this partially broken structure. Oh, that could be a cool wallpaper. I wonder if this game has a way to, like, enter the console and just, uh, you know, like, free, ro free roam your camera. And just look wherever you want and do stuff and, you know, mess with it. Maybe change the depth of field. That would be cool. Yeah, I'm not going down there. It's a cool little, cool little detail, too. As soon as you step on the edge, you hear the sound of falling rocks. Like you just kicked loose a bunch of small stones. Very cool. Alright, it's time for some answers. I've picked up her tracks again. Setting aside the mystery of how she's able to, survi to survive out here, I still don't know if I can trust her. Her trail appears to lead me away from dangers, but maybe that's just because she's looking out for herself. One thing is certain. She doesn't want me following her, and that's exactly why I have to follow. It's time for some answers. Is 
there anything up there? More to the point, can I actually make it up there? Nah, I don't think there is. Hello? structure up there. I think it's another one of those power things. I think that's the way I go. What's over here, though? Take a brief look. Absolutely nothing. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Yellow quartz. Very striking example of yellow-colored quartz. All the silicon could be put to good use. If only this planet could be tamed. Already thinking of exploiting the planet, you capitalist pig. Oh god, almost overshot that. You know what this actually looks like here? This actually kind of looks like a mushroom cloud from a massive explosion that's just been frozen into stone. It's a disturbing thought. She doesn't have anywhere to go, does she? That doesn't look safe. Well, crap. Okay, because we're going around. Lots of setbacks to production lately. We've installed a new crane on top of the on top of the supply building. Well, I should say we installed an old crane. This thing's a piece of junk. However, we managed to hook up a power source and get it running long enough to hoist a load of supplies up for safekeeping overnight. I sure hope the scientists find a cure soon. I need to find a way to turn this on.
Always follow the power lines. Oh, that's the thing I saw in the distance. Look at these columns, just the size of everything on this planet is just massive. Whoa, there's a bunch of them. Bunch of them. Hello. How many do I need? Eh, just the one, I think. I suppose I could take more with me. Nah, I should just leave him. Hmm, what is that building up there? If... Oh, shit. <laughs> Wonderful. I was about to say, if I had my super boosters, it'd be fun to go hopping from those pillars. Wait, am I gonna have to... Am I going to actually have, have to go to them? Shit, I am, aren't I? But I don't have any... Oh, never, <laughs> never mind. What do you know? Well, perfect. Okay, here we go. We're taking the long way around. I don't, I don't even know where the hell I'm going with this. But we're going. Yeah, Final Destination looks like it's up there, which is actually going to take us up to that building, I think. So we get to check it out and see what it is. There we go. No problem at all. Extend boost mode disabled. Well, screw you too. Maybe that's a portal. I just thought of that. I wonder if that's a portal. Or maybe they were portals. Long since destroyed. Oh, is that a sample? Oh, it is. Wolfenite. I thought at first I'd spotted some mundane yellow quartz, but this is almost certainly the Molly. Uh, do you pronounce the B? Molybdenum mineral wolfenite. If we're ever able to establish a colony here, these rocks could likely be mined for lead ore. Wolfenite, that is a freaking awesome name. Wolfenite. Wait, 
dude? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Wait a minute, I think I saw this in a trailer. Am I supposed to push these pieces into place? <laughs> this is one strong ass arm, jeez. It is a portal, isn't it? I think I'm supposed to just continue on, but I want to step through this. It doesn't do anything? At least, not to me. Wait, is so the entire purpose of me messing with this ancient alien device and activating it is simply to blow off some panels so I can continue walking? I thought that would have resulted in something cooler. That's anticlimactic. Okay, here we go. And we're back. You weren't always alone, though, right? I am told you were once married. Yes, that's right. Years ago. But then, your wife turned up missing one day. Well, friends thought maybe she had just run off, but... But you knew otherwise? Yes, ma'am, and I... went looking for her. I searched for her... day and night. Wait, where? Huh? How did I get here? What? I, I don't understand. Where did I just come from? What the hell? Why is it nighttime? How? What? Okay. Uh, little text would be appreciated. Like, uh, you know. Five hours later, and after a hard journey, you've ended up... here. Yeah, there's definitely some strange things going on in this game. Some things I don't quite like, but... Um, overall, I'm still quite enjoying it. And it's the beginning of a new chapter, so it's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.